go. When acting as pilot in command, we must be a smooth operator at all times, always staying calm, cool, and collective. And here are seven tips to always take off in an airplane smoothly and perfectly every time. Let go. Step numero uno to always take off perfectly every time in the airplane and how to fly airplanes smoothly on takeoff every time. The number one thing you want to be cognizant of when you're taxiing to that runway and getting ready and preparing for that takeoff, you want to pay attention to what the winds are doing. Not just the wind indicators and devices, the wind socks and all the devices at your disposal on the field. You also want to be looking at nature, baby. You want to be looking at the trees. What are the trees doing? Is the winds doing something different than was previously noted on the 80s before you started the taxi? One thing about winds, the only consistent thing is that they change and they can change very quickly. So what was said two, three, four, five minutes ago before you did a run up or whatever you're doing can easily change when you get ready to enter that runway. So you wanna make sure that you're always paying attention to the weather indicators and understanding what's going and just make the slight corrections. So you can always take off smoothly, baby, whether you're going with the wind, against the wind, crabbing, left or right, whatever you gotta do to get that thing off the ground nice and smooth. And this is always numero uno, boom! Step numero two, you've been clear for takeoff, baby. It's time to enter that runway. Lights, camera, action. Do what it do. So as you're getting ready to enter that runway, you want to make sure you're paying attention. No one's barreling down on final on you. There's anything. Just because you've been clear for it, remember, you're always pilot in command. So you're always not just going by what you've been instructed to do, but you're paying attention to your environment and have that situational awareness as well. And when you get that aircraft onto that runway, you want to make sure you get everything lined up perfectly on center, on center line before you even think about going down the runway. So you want to make, make sure you're lined up perfectly then you can start to proceed to go down the runway nice and smooth. Numero tres, you want to gradually put in full power. No need to be overly anxious here. You just gradually put the full power in and keep your eyes down the runway. Remember, when it comes to everything with the controls, including that power, you want to gradually do things. No jerking. Let the plane do the work. All you got to do is gradually put it in, keep your eyes down the runway nice and smooth, and let the plane do what it do, baby. And this it's number three, to have a smooth takeoff each and every time. Numero cuatro, one of my personal favorites for always taking off in an airplane nice and smoothly each and every time, you're gonna wanna read your instruments. That airspeed is alive, that thing is thangin'. You wanna check that airspeed. You also wanna make sure them instruments in the green, baby. Foliage, and what that means is your RPMs, they are in the green. That oil pressure, it's in the green. Everything is lit up and green and ready, and you're ready to take that thing off to the next level. Once you've checked all this and that rotation speed, that thing is thangin', you're in a good place to go to step numero cinco. This entire time, you're always using your entire body to fly the aircraft. You're using your entire body and think about it in this way. You have your hands on the controls doing what they do. You're reading your instruments with your eyes. You're also using your peripheral to keep your eyes down the runway and making sure you're staying on center line. You're using your feet to stay on center line by doing merengue, hey, 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 mm, 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 on the pedals each and every time. You never take your foot off the pedals. Always be mindful of those left turning tendencies. As the aircraft starts to pick up speed, it's gonna wanna pull to the left, baby. So you gotta make sure you keep that thing center. Hug that center line like you hug your woman. Nice and tight each and every time, baby. And make sure you do it right. And that way it's gonna put you in a perfect place to just lift off when it's time to lift off. Step number five, pull that thing back. Gently on that yoke and let the plane take off. The plane wants to fly. It was designed and crafted to fly. When air gets over those wings and under those wings, it's gonna want to lift and it's gonna to want to come right up off the ground. So let it do what it do, baby. That's all you're doing. You're just guiding it. You're not jerking it off the ground and trying to pull back hard to get it in the air. Let it take off on its own, man. It's gonna to start to fly. It's gonna tell you when it wants to fly. That's how easy it is if you let it do what it do. If you fight it, if you jerk it, you're doing it wrong. Make sure you let the airplane tell you when it wants to take off. And this is how you take off smoothly each and every time in the aircraft. Numero six, you wanna to continue to pull the yoke back until you reach your desired best rate or 
best angle of climb. But while you're doing this, you always want to be cognizant that regardless of what your flight plan was, was it for you to do the best angle of climb or the best rate of climb, plans can change at any given moment. Soon as you get up off the ground, you can lose your engine. So you want to be prepared how much runway you still have in front of you if you have to gently put the aircraft back on the ground. Secondarily, when you can be asked immediately 10 degrees to the left, 10 degrees to the right. So you gotta be immediately ready to make those course corrections and as you're getting ready to go to that best angle or best rate of climb. You can be asked to do something completely different just as you get up off the ground. So be prepared for that. So stick to your flight plan until otherwise, but always be prepared for any inevitabilities or any other actions that you may be asked to do. Numero siete! It makes it seem like the job is done. You're already off the ground. What is number seven? What do you have to be concerned about? you wanna make sure you maintain that heading. This is very important, especially if you're taking off at an airport that has multiple runways. You never wanna invade someone else's airspace if an aircraft is taking off or landing simultaneously while you're doing your thing. So you wanna make sure that even though you're in the air and you're over that runway, you stay over top of that runway and you don't drift to the left, you don't drift to the right, or do anything that you shouldn't be doing. Maintain your heading even in the air while you're flying over that runway and exiting outside of that airport. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Subscribe to this channel for more pilot talk, leadership, and self-improvement tips. If there's anything else you want to add in terms of helping all of us worldwide become better pilots and things that we want to pay attention to on takeoff, please hit the comment section down below. Each one teach one. Let's all help each other become better as we can create a community for all pilots worldwide. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Subscribe to this channel. Big Wolf.